Kenya Commercial Bank, which is the biggest bank by asset base in Kenya, has been struggling to tame the portfolio of her non-performing loans, which shot to 8.8% in the first half of this year. The full-year target for non-performing loans was 6%, but Chief Executive Officer Joshua Oigara says he hopes for a lower level going forward. I think we've put in a lot of effort to, to, to get more, uh, more, more flows. And we're also looking at money payment systems. I think um, we are right now what's happening with even partnerships like Visa and MasterCard. There's, just, there's not just mobile you can pay. You can actually even pay now from a card to a card. The bank attributes the bad debts to its operations in Uganda, where it is struggling to recover a number of bad debts. The bank says it will employ new mechanisms to recover the money. According to the CBK survey, the stock of non-performing loans increased by 2% to 103.7 billion shillings in September this year, up from 101.7 billion shillings recorded in June, prompting commercial banks to adopt enhanced appraisal standards to mitigate the heightened credit risk. But our strategy has been, a lot, of, a lot of it will be driven by the partnership we have here locally, you know, working very closely with many players that we work with. But also today we're setting up a lot of uh, agencies and connecting with our customers abroad in America, in Canada, in London, in Dubai, in Australia, in South Africa and UK. Bank also plans to tap technology to reduce ballooning operating expenses, which rose by 6% to 20.6 billion shillings in the nine months of this year. KCB announced that its pre-tax profit rose 17% to 17.7 billion shillings during the first nine months of this year. This is 2 billion shillings more than what Equity Bank announced for the same period and makes KCB the most profitable bank in Kenya.